states people. Singular one use plastic bags or containers. If used again and again, it produces carcinogens. And carcinogens are cancer causing bacteria, which is obviously very hard. As we say single use plastic, we just don't restrict it to single use. We reuse it. But after a, a, a certain period of time, we can discard it. So as it, like we can know the period and then according to that, we can stop using that plastic in which way it is not harmful to the health. So briefly what she said, she said is, plastic should not be completely avoided. You have a knife, you have a mass stick, you can use the fire to cook, you can burn a house. So you should know the judgment, use it for positive purposes, not using the plastic necessity completely is not a solution that was yes. yes. So what's your counter? Any counter questions? The <laughs> are very hard to avoid completely. So we have the three R's. We have use in plastics, we have recycled we have recyclable plastics. So you know that does not even uh, cause harm to the environment. You can take the same plastic which you use. Even if it is for like you use it more for more than one time, and you can simply reuse it and use it again, and you can continue that for a longer period of time, which won't ha cause harm not to the health of the people or not to the environment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the recycling of plastics, first, uh, um, it may be not possible because it uh, causes a lot of expensive amount of uh, charge to recycle them. It may also take a lot of time to recycle them. And there, plastics is a petrochemical, it's a polymer. So there are different ways to recycle it. There are different types of plastics, and there are different ways to recycle them. One way is depolymerization, in which the polymers are completely broken down back to their original form to monomers, and they can be completely reused for different products. A complete new product can be made from that plastic, which was previously something else. So that problem has been. Have a, it has a solution. So she says that uh, uh, recycling plastic uses much of energy. So the energy that uh, the energy from from plastics can be used uh, to make to for thermal electrical energy. Thermal energy can be uh, made into electrical energy. Okay, then what's the point? I will expand on that. Yes. What she is trying to say is, there are plastic incineration in a controlled environment with a cap, with actually a business with controlled incineration of plastic. The emissions which are caused, the harmful gases or any gases that can be converted into heat energy, thermal energy, and it can be converted into electrical energy. So everything is controlled and there is no emissions into the environment. So that way, whatever you are burning there, incinerating, you are giving, you are getting energy from it in return. <coughs> so there is no uh, harmful uh, effects of it to the public. Uh, it is killing the territorial wildlife and uh, also it is uh, when the animals, they eat the waste thrown plastic garbage and uh, they are getting ill and many of the animals are dying in the silver market. How can we stop it? So, to uh, your point, see, the problem is here is not plastic, but how we are disposing plastic. What we are doing is we we are not educating people on how to dispose of plastic. The uh, the three R's exist in society, but no, many of us do not implement them here. Hence, the wildlife is uh, getting affected. As we said, they are consuming plastic. If we educate people how to actually use the three R's, like the, we have many places where you give your products for recycling. They they uh, they make products from this. For example, you have many companies like her who actually make products from the uh, plastics. So the problem here is not plastic, but the way we are disposing. So basically, what she says is, if a speed box put in front of you. Plastic is dumped in lands and oceans, causing massive pollution and environmental problems. This is more, there is more than 12.7 million tons of plastic in our oceans as of now, which is affecting the marine life and animals. Again, it's how we dispose plastics. Um, plastics really have a valuable place in our uh, in our society. In the modern society, plastic is widely used. Uh, it's not only uh, us. Everyone have plastic bags at home. It's how we reuse and not dump it. Basically, scientists, uh, some scientists are attempting to make uh, plastic safer and suitable. 
So there are uh, sign there are scientists who are doing researches who are coming up with solutions because of our mistakes. It's we who dispose the thing in the incorrectly. Again, I took my word. We are responsible for the pollution. The plastic remains as it is. We are using it in a uh, uh, what you say harmful way that is affecting our lives. How can we know the water we are drinking or the water which is coming from the pipes? Is safer as you guys said it's a way that is uh, getting safer by the technology how can we know it is safer as nowadays the water is safe from the plastic pipes which are coming to us listen we have already started the purification of water so we are sure with the site uh, with the people who invented the purification of water also it's not harmful that water that which is coming to you is not harmful we have studied it goes through screening it goes through purification and we know that it's not harmful we even remove the small small particles which are coming so i don't think it's really harmful yeah and if you want the water is also coming boiling sometimes so it's really not harmful all the organisms which are harmful they're dead so it's nothing there there and you said that we should educate people so as a way that people will actually listen to us people won't listen to us if we just say it like uh, in this debate not many people will actually listen to us they will listen from one hand and then forget it uh, forget it in the other second so as a way that will actually if the, this what we actually say people brings I completely agree with that and it's a business of spreading awareness for the last and what we get and I know how things can be this and so let's be quiet on this. Guys, we need to show the harmful effects that are causing, people will understand. Like people won't go, like, okay, this is happening, uh, happening to us, but we still use plastic. Like for instance, we can take COVID. People got to know the harmful effects. People are dying. They know that COVID is harm, uh, giving them a lot of harm. So people were there inside. They will uh, following lockdown very nicely. So, like, when you actually spread the awareness in a proper way and uh, tell the actual harmful effects that are happening, people will stop because people uh, today they want to live. And when you tell that plastic is causing harm to your lives, that if you're uh, like if you're telling that plastic is causing harm, if you if you actually give awareness and spread awareness that plastic is actually kind of uh, uh, harmful to us, but if you dispose it properly, it won't be. So people will listen to you. Um. What about the poor people? How will we educate them? We have to go to the slum areas and also uh, the normal people who live over here on the sheds and all. We have to go over there, take their houses full of garbage, full of plastics. That's the way we should say others. Just saying that proper uh, dispose it in a proper way won't help. What is the proper way to dispose it? Lockdown happened. As she, uh, as she said that poor people are using plastics. If they are poor, if they are that poor, then how are they buying plastics? And if they are buying also, there are many poor people who recycle the plastics. Because they, don't, they can't afford to buy again and again the plastics. What about this? And as we said for ideas about how to educate people on reusing or since our landfills are already filled with pollution, um, since social media is a very big uh, thing and influence our lives, as many YouTubers, many social influencers gather people from places and they actually go to places and clean. Beaches are one example. We see many influencers go clean beaches. And this is literally an operation that is taking place in nowadays. So there are people who are willing to clean. It's just that it, it's the baby steps that affect. We can't expect the whole population will just agree on one point and start uh, contributing to that problem. Everyone has their opinions and people who are poor, they are working for the, uh, for the betterment of the environment and the lifestyle. So, yeah, that's what I'm going Another point I would like to add on that. But she said people. You, I and everybody here are people. We have to try and to make a change. See, as you said, it is, if people just don't get up and change in one day. It is a process, as she said, it takes baby steps. So one thing we can do here is target the youth, the younger kids, the younger generation, because it is easier to shape minds which are still developing. So as they are here, Babel NGO is here to educate us, to give us 
information on how this is. We have to do the same. Educate the kids. We are in line. You are in line. We are in ten. We are high school kids. We can even start educating younger kids of primary. They are very smart these days. Gen Alpha is very smart. They are not dumb. We can educate them on topic. They know how to use phones, laptops better than us. So if we see, it's a why did actu people actually follow the rules of COVID? Because they knew it was a threat to their life. If they did not follow, they had the fear of death. Death is a fear for everybody. And if we target that fear, saying that if people do not follow the same rules for plastic uh, control or reducing, it will harm them. So in the same way, we have to be very strong and we have to be emotional at some times to, to actually show people that it is harmful and it's not just some cause which people are just arguing about. It's not just some cult group. It is actually a cause which needs people to understand about this. So we have to make a change. You and I, we all are people. We have to do this together. We have to educate people. Thank you. Uh, that's a wonderful debate. We are uh, maybe having about 10 minutes left in this. I will uh, give some points why plastic is popular. So one point on that we will discuss. Then we will go to another point. Okay. Plastic is lightweight. It has its own advantages because of its lightweight. So uh, uh, this is an argument for plastic. Keep it plastic. Use it plastic. So those who are wanting to say that it is responsible in this Okay. One is lightweight. Is cheaper, and another basic reason is for that it is Why we use, yeah, basically, as Sarah said, 
it's durable, it's flexible, and the cl glass and all that project, it causes uh, problems to the product in containing. Plastic possesses a low melting point and hence the carry bags which are used for carrying hot food. Plastic can be can get mixed with a food item and hence can harm the health of humans. Hence plastic is a slow poison. Bad food in the plastic bags are not healthy and can cause deadly diseases. Okay, you can also be a mouthpiece. It can go from your mouth on the Bags or paper bags. 
And instead of using chicken and water bottles, which are plastic, it ca uh, can uh, causes cancer. It's better to use steel kitchen than steel water bottles. So on that note, we will come to a debate for opposition. Thank you all for participating and making it a great opposition. Thank you all again. Thank you. Thank you so much. So much for the wonderful point. Uh, I think the student uh, school level students will be coming up with uh, so many foreign against arguments and uh, really people have done uh, lots of uh, homework and exercise on this and uh, uh, we will continue this debate in other ways. We will uh, discuss with the management and come up with the ways that you can continue to participate in this. It's a wonderful thing. Right now we will have a very quick uh, photo opportunity. Uh, the principal mayor is expected here in a moment. Then uh, uh, we will uh, have a close for today's awareness. Meanwhile, till the ma'am comes, any questions you have? Last thing, what any development, environmental, sustainability, anything? Yes, sure. Any question? After all this, I wanted to ask, how are you? Like, how is your uh, organization is trying to ban the oxygen. Let's reuse. Somehow, uh, I didn't get in touch with the school. My apologies for that. This is a wonderful school doing a very nice work educating the people. And uh, I just did a, a quick walk in the tour in the campus, and I was so surprised and pleasant surprise to see so many messages related to environment. That's a, a clear indication that the quality of education and uh, what content they are giving to the students here. But uh, as an icing on the cake, when I saw the paintings that the people are doing, posters, and also the debate, the quality of the debate is of a very high standard. And uh, thank you, ma'am, for you and your entire team for uh, doing this wonderful work. And uh, we will be continuing to watch on with you uh, in more environmental awareness activities. And uh, as a gesture for today's program, I request the principal now to give a clap and declare this awareness camp open. Please. Yeah. Now I request them to say a few words, concluding uh, over to principal now. Thank you very much, team from local NGO. Well, um, as I said, before we have talent, this will be the chance. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much for organizing such a wonderful session where our students can you know, come up with their ideas and everything. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll again you know, meet soon with other activities, inshallah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. students slightly older than you, maybe a couple of years, are from one set of students are from UP ESE University, Dehradun in Uttarakhand, and one set of students are from Iqfai University, that's in Hyderabad, and uh, near Hyderabad there is one more university, Waksan University. These people have joined for two month internship with Babul NGO, and uh, what you were able to see, these wonderful posters, cloth, as the quality. Everything is connected to them. So I request on all of the behalf Kirtana to say a few words. So, so uh, firstly, thank you everybody for your support and coordination. And of course, if you guys were here 
and being so supportive, the team will be considered as great as it is today. And I would also like to thank Principal Mark, she has been so supportive. And uh, we are students as well, you know, we are learning everything from the rules, especially the management. And ma'am helped us through the process and I would really like to thank you for that ma'am. And we would love to associate with your school again. And once again, thank you all. And let's try to contribute to the change. Thank you.